if they lose, they lose. It's okay. Either they win and they benefit or they lose and they learn. Sudhir Man Cup, which we lost, um, I sobbed and cried. Willingness to look towards the player and see what is best for him or her. Well, with the players, it's, it's, it's fun. I have a lot of fun. Uh, If they lose, they lose. It's okay because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Um, the, the, it's important that they either they win and they benefit or they lose and they learn. And uh, for me, both are opportunities in the same direction because your careers are long. It's not that you make a mistake and you are finished and it's over and you, you have. So it's like they can lose and it's okay and, and they have another opportunity and another opportunity. But it's very important that they remain focused all the time and they kind of are not giving up that effort. It's one, the willingness to learn, the willingness to accept and um, the willingness to look towards the player and see what is best for him or her and that I think is important. In a world which is changing, in a world where sport is changing, people are changing, uh, mindsets and generations are changing, it's very important to understand that uh, go into sport with a much more open mind and be ready to experiment and uh, be ready to kind of make changes when necessary. I think that important, that flexibility I think is the key. It could, it could be as, as simple as uh, ensure that your warm-up warm is correct and I want you to, I'm watching you play the first five points and ensure that you get, get into the court and, and start playing from point one as though it's that's the most important point. So that those are the kind of things which I share with you. One of the problems which I was facing was when I was traveling, there was nobody uh, big at base to ensure that the training is happening 100%. And uh, Mulio has really been part of that and uh, he's really helped uh, us focus because um, earlier it was a problem that we didn't have top players and today there is a situation where there are a lot of them. So we need to ensure that all of them get good quality training back home and also good quality coaching when they are in the tournament. So luckily we have him. There has to be the right balance between training and also putting up a system in place and ensuring that all of it flows a bit seamlessly. Uh, next year is going to be tougher with travel because of Commonwealth and Asian Games. These are two additional tournaments which India has to play, which the rest of the world doesn't um, necessarily play. And also the 2020 uh, is the Olympics and 2019 is the qualification. So before you know, between these four years, this is the only year you have to actually have the time to build up a system so whether it was 2013 or 2017 i have spent a little more time and out of the two tournaments i will travel for one well with the players it's 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 fun i have a lot of fun uh, it's the fact that i enjoy uh, coaching they enjoy being part of uh, the growth of the player that's what really excites me and that's what really is the fun part and um, yeah as, as a coach you need to ensure that you keep pushing the players yes sometimes you could be a little tougher uh, but um, it's worked for me each time and uh, the players have responded uh, with a lot of goodwill and faith and that is important I think in the initial years there was there was um, the Sudirman Cup which we lost. Um, I sobbed and cried, um, and they, they are moments where I I just felt that we could have done better uh, from a discipline perspective from the team, and uh, I just didn't like the fact that uh, we have lost and thanks to us India lost. 
and that was really uh, moments where you felt really lousy about it. But sometimes when your preparations and your attitudes on court uh, don't befit the occasion, then you feel ashamed and uh, those are the moments when I don't like it.